Hello everybody! Hello friends and supporters of Cosmic Agency. I am Gosha. Well, today's video is a bit unfortunate, but well, sometimes every now and then I have the responsibility, I feel, to make these sort of videos, especially when there's no one else doing the explanation. And that's what happened here in the case of Christina and Estella from Pleiadian Knowledge, where in the recent videos they just made, they are simply explaining that they are not going to do any more videos because they are not resonating with, with it anymore. And I did this on a, for a reason. I'll explain now what I mean by that. Uh, I will try to explain in certain way, not with all the details, uh, what happened. It was not my story to tell and it's not my place to to be explaining this. But since the girls are not explaining this to the public as they should, I believe, um, well, it's, it's my position to do this as I feel I need to protect this project, protect this work from any possible attacks and from any possible misinterpretations and misunderstandings. Um, and I'm doing this especially because because of the wording that the girls chose to use in their videos and that is that they do not resonate with Athena and do not resonate uh, with this work anymore. No reason given, uh, nothing explained. Uh, which leads people to believe, which I believe is very deceitful, uh, which leads people to believe that there was something that Athena said, some sort of information she gave, or there is something in the messages themselves and the information from the Tegetans themselves that doesn't resonate with with Estella and with and with Christina, and that's why they are leaving. Another <laughs> problem here we have with they are leaving, which I will explain. Now, I believe this is very deceitful because that's not that's not the reason why the girls are not in contact with the Tegetans anymore. It's not because they are not resonating with anything in the information itself. And how do I know? I know because I know the case. I know exactly what happened. I was there. I was here when, I when Estella was here in Finland, uh, which is when this started. And um, I just need to speak out as, as, as there is a lot of commotion out there happening, especially in the Spanish world, and I know it's, it's reaching the English world as well, um, about how, you know, how the girls woke up and they realized there's something wrong here and there's something wrong with the information and they are not resonating with this anymore. This can be clearly seen in the comments below, uh, below their video in Spanish, I didn't look at the English, uh, in Spanish, where everybody, but absolutely everybody, is asking what part of the information of what Zvaru Athena X shared or Tegetans doesn't resonate with you. What don't you resonate with? You need to tell us because we need to analyze it ourselves as well. Well, this is why it, it annoys me because I know there is absolutely nothing in the information, nothing in the messages themselves, nothing in the topic that Athena shared that they didn't resonate with, the issue is purely personal. They had a personal disagreement, which I will explain a little bit, just in general, uh, um, in the continuation of this video. I believe that to lead people to think that this was something to do with the information itself is very, but absolutely irresponsible on the part of the girls, whether they did this intentionally or not intentionally, uh, where they have a huge, huge role here to fulfill with this contact with the people who are listening to this information. Uh, we believe these messages, especially now, are crucial for the survival of the humanity race, are crucial for the transformation of the humanity. And just to say a few words like do not resonate without any deeper explanation leads the doors to so many people mislead, mis, misinterpreting this and misunderstanding this in all kinds of dark 
ways and opens the door to all sorts of trolls and attacks who are just waiting for any type of occasion and circumstance to 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 grab something and attack us with it even more and this is exactly what happened here uh, which i believe shouldn't have happened if the girls have had expressed themselves in a different way and were more honest in their explanation because everybody there in the comments are saying thank you for your honesty you have the right not to resonate that's good you are thinking for yourself no <laughs> nonsense there was nothing in the information itself they didn't resonate with and the proof of that i would say is that they have been continuing to share the targeted information and the material until just a few days before that video and according to them as they say and i confirmed that they didn't have contact with anybody since may since may so for the seven months since may they continue to make videos they continue to publish and share targeted information which proves that they believed in this information they believed in these messages and if they did not resonate with it uh, which they had to know already around May or somewhere at some point because there was nothing new added to the information since May uh, for them. So if they knew that they didn't resonate with it, which I'm saying that's not what it was, that's not what it is, why did they continue to publish the videos? Why did they make a meeting in Barcelona with the, say, with the followers? Why did they continue to charge? Uh, well, charge no, but to put ads in their videos and um, and ask for donations. This makes me think this was a very interested move on their part uh, to publish everything they had in Spanish, because in English I think it's not published all, just to publish everything they had to finish with the material and then, then to step on the material just published and say, I don't resonate with it that just makes no sense at all and and the continuation of this video you will understand more and more of 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 this unpleasant situation as it is quite unpleasant for the Tagetans especially and Zvarunians they say that Athena did not resonate with them there's something there that didn't resonate and again people are suspecting there was something she said some kind of information she shared that didn't resonate with them where I am again insisting and repeating and I know because <laughs> I was there that it was completely a personal disagreement she they only talked she actually Estella only talked to uh, Athena Svaru X once and that conversation was purely personal there was no topic given there was no information to share with the public it was purely personal uh, chat so when i see the comments from people saying how noble and honest the girls were to admit that they didn't resonate with something it makes me i have to say quite quite angry inside because i know very well the story and i know that that's that wasn't the case that the reason why this is happening was personal and and the girls should have never ever mixed it up with the project with the work itself with the information that is so vital to the human race especially in these difficult times so at the light of the fact that they are not there to explain to the people more beyond i don't resonate i feel and robert feels that the the sense of responsibility to to clear this up a little bit more for the people and that's that's what i'm trying to do in this video so in order for you to um and understand this more um, let me just tell you a little bit more about this this disagreement that happened um what happened uh, in may is is that the targetes were not here and athena was here the only one responsible for maintaining this contact and for talk talking to us she talked to robert and to myself actually first um, with the specific difficult situation that happened at that time it was a personal situation that was um, involving Estella and could and was was something that was going to be difficult for her to to process um, now as we always say there's so much more behind this contact than just the information you see in the in the videos there's a lot happening on a personal level the friendship with them is very deep there are a lot of complicated things happening there are a lot of 
personal stories intertwined with our 5D stories and beyond. And you know, the, the reality is just not so black and white. And and you need a lot of a lot of maturity and a lot of um, emotional and psychological stability to be able to to always process this all, to be able to assimilate this into your uh being into your reality and there's always so much to assimilate there and 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 well and this was a situation that that happened that was that was going to be sad and quite difficult for for Estella so what Athena decided to do was was try to help to solve the situation in in a way that she knows how to solve the situation in a metaphysical way uh, she consulted with me. I agreed and supported her in that in that attempt. Uh, so 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 we kept Estella a little bit away for the moment from that situation in order to try to protect her from the seriousness of what was happening. In order to try to fix this, I'm not going to spend too much talking about this. Don't worry, it's personal details. But what I'm trying to say is that Athena's intent and intention here was purely to protect and help Estella, so was mine, and so was Robert's, because later on he joined us in these decisions uh, that we were making. Um, so all this was happening, I, I think I spent a lot of time trying to solve this situation. I did as well, talking to her about it, and we were consulting back and forth. And uh, we kept Estella out of the picture for the moment in order to, as I said, help help uh, something that Estella was not able to see and acknowledge later on when she found out um, so anyway uh, all this was happening in the weeks before Estella's move back to Spain in June um, days a few days before she was going to move back to uh, Spain driving 4,000 kilometers in her car uh, we especially decided we're going to wait until she gets to Barcelona and then um, we will just tell her the situation since actually uh, it was apparent that the situation could not be helped. It could not be solved. So at this point, Estella had to know and and, and we decided to, to tell her. But and when she was back in Barcelona, because... The trip was very long and you don't want to bother anybody emotionally uh, before such a huge trip. It would be very dangerous uh, and very irresponsible of our part to, to be um, revealing that kind of situation to her emotionally difficult before that trip. So we waited until she gets back onto Barcelona. When she was back in Barcelona, I told you this was all personal, huh? You see now, you understand. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the technical information. Uh, when when Estela was back in Barcelona, um, Athena and I, uh, we we finally approached Estela. She was approached, also Cristina. And Estela had a semi-private -pri um, conversation with Athena about this uh, situation. Uh, Athena explained to her what happened explain to her a mode of her of her in attempt to help to which Estella reacted very very um, quite aggressively she she expressed that she didn't want to be helped and that um, this is her personal matter and she just didn't agree with the method that Athena tried to apply to this situation the method to which I agree also Robert so, as you can see, this was a purely personal disagreement. Now, we were not in that conversation, uh, but we could read it afterwards. So we know exactly what was said and how Estella treated Athena. And I can say, I can assure you that it wasn't a very respectful way of approaching um, Athena, especially after all this time that she spent weeks trying to help her with the situation. Uh, she didn't express any gratitude. She was just purely um, annoyed and and just told Athena to back off, basically, 
and never try anything like that again. There was no gratitude or appreciation shared there in that conversation at all, which I felt very bad for Athena because I know how much she cared, how much she tried to help. This was all based on the love we all had, that the Athena and Tegetans also had for, um, for, uh, for Estella. You know, when she came here to Finland, we gave her so much uh, help, especially Robert, with whom she shared the flat. I, I gave up my room and went to live with my details, whatever, personal details. Uh, but we did a lot because we cared for her. You know, if you watched my channel back back then, you know that I introduced her to the public. I made I made a video with her. I was trying to to help her grow her channel because I really loved the way they were producing their videos and and the information was reaching the public. Uh, you know, through other channels than just me. This was great. So so we 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 we. we so we feel pretty pretty disappointed here and pretty sad uh, with Estella's reaction to this whole situation. And, and let's not forget the time when Estella was traveling from Norway to Finland. I don't know if you watched that video on their channel, where actually she was being monitored and and accompanied by the Tigetan ship who was flying just above her during the whole trip. It was this was in winter, um, and not letting her get into any danger. The Tegetan pilot himself was getting himself into trouble because it, it was a stormy weather. He, he lost the communication with the Tegetan base. Uh, but the point is that they cared so much about her and this was all done to protect her, which what Athena was trying to do was a continuation of that attempt to, be, to protect her and to try to make life easier for her, basically. And... And I can assure you that was the case because I was there in that situation. So I know Athena's intentions. You know, Athena is the is is very soft and very soft but very strong as, at the same time. Soft, I mean, in her way of mannerism, in her way of speaking, she is very sweet and very very friendly and very calm and serene. And this is how she was in the in the entirety of that conversation. Um, so I, I really feel very bad for her here in this in this situation, um, you know, uh, Estella not resonating with Athena, but without explanation, without saying anything and making people think it's something to do with what she said, some information that she revealed. It's nothing to do with that. It was purely personal. And well, after that conversation, Estella did not get in contact more with Athena. She did not look for her anymore. She didn't want to talk to us anymore. She just went totally silent. She stopped sending Matthias transcripts for the website and she was basically offended and she didn't want anything to do with us anymore. And this is where, some, where, where she forgot something. When you are rejecting Zvaru, when you are rejecting one of Zvaru's in this case, Athena, for whatever personal disagreement you might have, you're also rejecting Yashi. Because as we always explain, they are the same consciousness. They are the same oversoul being, the same essence. There's the same consciousness that runs through all these Varus. And what you do to one, what you say to one, you do to others as well. So what what you what you do to Athena, it also affects Yashi. So Yashi also felt rejection by by Estella in in this in this situation. So after this conversation with Athena, that was it. Uh, she didn't contact us anymore. She just disappeared, and and you know she 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 could have asked for more more context of the and, and the circumstance from Athena because there was so much more that she could Athena could explain to Estella about that case but she just completely didn't seem even interested she just expressed that she was not she didn't want to be helped and and that's it and and well and, and that was it and then Estella and Christina kept waiting for Aneka and kept waiting for Taget and team to arrive as if nothing happened you know, thinking that Aneka will be back and they, they, she will be back in contact with them as if nothing happened. But again, what she forgot is that here we are a team. And when Aneka found out about what happened, about the treatment that Athena received, 
was Athena's first conversation with, with Estelle. They didn't even know each other. She was doing this unconditionally without even knowing anything much about Estella. She was doing this because she knew Estella was part of the team and she needed to be helped. That's how they are. That's, they, they take care of each other, the members of the team. So <laughs> she didn't deserve any of that. So anyway, so when Aneka and Tigetans learned about this, they were very annoyed and they decided they don't want to they don't want to be in contact anymore with Estella and Christina for what happened. Now I have to add there is much more. There is much more behind this story. I'm only scrapping scraping the surface because I think it's enough for you to get an idea that this was purely personal and that there is nothing strange about taking the information, nothing suspicious that they discovered about the messages. It was just a purely personal disagreement and that should have been stated from the beginning. That would have been fair and honest and, co and the correct thing to do. So here Tigetans decide not to contact um, the girls anymore. And this is another very important point. It's the Tigetans who decided not to, be in, not to be in contact with Estella and Christina and not the reverse. And this is another thing that the girls from Pleiadian Knowledge left to understand in a deceitful way. They make it sound like it's them who cut off with the Tigetans. We finish with the Tigetan project. We no longer are going to be in contact with them. But hey, it's because Tigetans don't want to be in contact with you. You forgot to mention that. So um, that was also quite deceitful on their part because again, it, it stains the, the image of the Tigetans as if, as if they did something suspicious or strange that made Christina and Estella think that, hey, there's something weird here and we don't want to be in contact with them, with, with them anymore. This is very irresponsible because, like I said, the trolls are just waiting. The cabal who hates us is just waiting for something like this to happen to use this against us to use this. You know, all these people that are there saying that that we don't resonate with them, which, hey, they have a right to say that. Um, all these people who are, who, are, who are saying that, now seeing that the Pleiadian knowledge girls are saying that too, it's like it confirms to them then that, yeah, I was right. I knew something doesn't resonate. Even Christina and Estella say that. So yes, there is something suspicious there. No, you see, this is deceitful. They had to say from the beginning, it was based on a purely personal matter and they should have stood up for the project itself because the project itself is being attacked. And I say this because I see the comments under that video in Spanish and everybody, and then there are a lot of trolls attacking the project and the girls did not step in. They are not stepping in to protect the information, trying to correct this. They are not stepping in saying, no, 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 we are sorry. It's not what we meant. The information itself is great. We just had a personal thing we didn't resonate with. Okay. But they are not stepping in. They are not making it clear to the public, which is quite shady uh, from my perspective and, 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 and not right and not fair. And not fair to Anneka as well. She has to be mentioned here because she's the one who spent a year with the girls, passing a lot of material, passing a lot of information uh, to the girls. Uh, tired, not tired. She kept going. And what does she have to do with this? What does her information have to do with this? Just because the girls had a personal disagreement of not resonating with something that Athena tried to do to help them, to help Estella. So now Aneka's information has to suffer consequences. So now Robert and I have to suffer consequences because we are dealing with, with the invasion of trolls from all sides using the situation against us. Uh, did, they knew, did they know what they were doing? Did they do this on purpose because of resentment of losing contact? I have to say to you that this happens a lot to the people who are in contact with them and then for some reason they lose contact. They, they go against the Tegetans. They start to publicly uh, mix their personal issues 
and uh, try to stain the Tigatan reputation because of that, without considering that this project, what we are doing, is of a transcendental nature. Uh, what, they, what we are giving to the, hum to the humanity, what we are giving to the people, uh, I believe, we believe, helps to wake up people from this matrix and from the system and liberates them. And especially in these very difficult for the humanity times where I believe uh, that what we do is helping the human race to survive on groups like ours. And this is uh, Athena's words, depends the survival of the human race. Don't play here with, don't play here with that. It's not a joke. Do not use your personal resentment and mix it with the importance and the transcendent, transcendental uh, quality of, of this project, which means so much to so many people. So many people depend on this. And, and to have them confused like this because of the personal matter and disagreement, it was just, it was just very, but very unfair and not right um, on their part. So they lost the contact because of all the situation, but not only because of the situation. I must here stress this point that there is a lot more, there's a lot more happening and there's a lot more behind this story. But again, I'm just showing you the, 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 the one layer of this. So you see that this is purely personal. And so you can separate this and what happened here uh, from the information itself that is given uh, to the people. And Going back to the trolls, this is something that Aneka uh, told me recently. It is something she is not forgiving them because the girls left the door fully open to all the trolls in their comment section and they did not step in to try to close that door. If this information mattered anything to them, and apparently it did because they kept publishing until a week ago, why not step in? and try to correct what those trolls are trying to uh, damage in that comment section. Uh, they just left it completely unattended, completely open. And, um, and this shows me that that was their purpose, that, that, that's, that's, that's what they wanted. But, 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 but keep in mind here, they didn't want that to happen before they finished to publish their material. They kept publishing for seven months. They didn't launch this video before to say that they don't resonate because if they don't resonate, then how would they justify continue to publish the videos? So there is something, you know, shady here with this. And I want you to have this in mind. She, she gave so much material, so it's such a huge quantity of information and hours of her life and and efforts and efforts only to hear that we don't resonate with that just because of the personal disagreement you had with with Athena on the matter where she was trying to help you so I'm making this video because I felt the need to defend this uh, this work this project for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about and who don't even know about Christina and Estella well then skip skip the video which i should have said in the beginning but i know a lot of you have been following um the, the pleiadian knowledge channel so you, you 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 needed to know this i needed you to know um you know more of the situation since it didn't come out from the girls themselves and you know it's my job here to protect this project which is my whole life right now um my job to protect this project from you know, from, from any attempts uh, to taint it with something that I know for a fact is not true. Um, but as I, as I said before, you need to hear, be able to separate the, the project, the work, which has a vital importance to the humanity, I believe, especially in these times, from your personal interior situations with them. Which, by the way, there are always so many of those situations. We always say that this is not just work with them. We have personal, personal, deep friendships and situations and, and, and our stories here on earth um, intertwine with, you know, with who we are out there 
in space <laughs> and it's not so black and white or linear a lot of is is revealed to us a lot of things that, that we have to deal with but it's something that we just need to deal with this 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 is why we always say Robert especially that contacts like this this contact requires a lot of mental stability a lot of mental stability mental and emotional strength is not for everybody especially when you are carrying this in the public eye because there are some people who talk to them in private and maybe in, in, in that situation it's a bit different case but here we are dealing with these personal issues but we also have the public responsibility and and we need to be able to always you know separate these things whatever is happening on a personal level with them we need to be able to separate that from from the job and from the responsibility we have with you people and you know we also have disagreements with them sometimes but so what it's normal it happens even in the best relationships between best friends but you need to be able to see beyond and see the the, the, the wider perspective here of why this is important for the people you know the personal disagreements will always happen you know uh, that, that's just normal but see beyond that um, be responsible mature here um, and 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 understand the priorities here i think that's that's what's that that's what was missing here in the situation for estella she 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 lost sight of the priority well estella and christina both them announcing that it doesn't resonate with them well, it did just uh, until a week ago um the priorities got mixed up for me to do this for the people to help them um in any way is is my priority and anything else it's in a second position or whatever problems or situations or disagreements or things that I have to assimilate and process with them and my personal stuff that's always that's always in the second place um, because that's the role that's the role we chose it's not easy to be in a public eye and do this and deal with all these stuff all this stuff is happening behind you need to be able to separate this so here as athena as aneka actually says she says here in this group we are a lot of people not just athena so any disagreement with athena or with us because this was also um, against us at the same time should not interfere in life and work efforts of other people like Tigetans in this case so what she's saying here that the disagreements Estella had with Athena should not be interfering with the work that Tigetans have been doing that Aneka has been doing with them for for a year and unfortunately that's what happened it stained the whole project just those three words we do not resonate seems like nothing but actually it was a very destructive statement so Anneka here is saying their way of reacting to this, their, their style of going about this, how they did, um, it went against all our efforts of my, I'm translating from Spanish, of my work and of Robert's work that ne neither me or Robert, for example, had nothing to do with this. So why should be this affecting us? With what right? should this be affecting us and it is because like i'm saying it's uh it, it's something that is that's translated to a whole project so actually thanks to these kinds of situations i must say that i get this are not open to any new contacts uh you know you always ask why don't they talk more to people or why aren't they not open they were they for years they have talked to many 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 people and they still do uh, but they are not open to any new contacts because they got burned so many times. They got tired, they got frustrated. It's just, it's just sad for me to see that because I know how much they care about the humans, about the humanity and wanting to help and, and wanting to talk to them and be their friends. And, and then, you know, these types of situation happen and it just locks them in more and more in their world. They just do not want to talk to any new people anymore and it's completely understood and I have to say again and with this I will finish especially in the times like these now where where you know on groups like ours depend the survival of the human race 
Um, that's what I believe. That's what Athena believes. That's what uh, we believe. So with just two, three words that you just say, this to destroy that transcendental, uh, a, a very essential effort for the human race, and that's just, um, that shouldn't have happened. So anyway, I hope that with this video, you understand a little bit more uh, the situation, that the information that they shared is still valid. Of course, there's nothing wrong with it. There was nothing they didn't resonate with there. Um, it was all purely personal. These things happen. I will continue. Robo will continue. I have a lot more to share, as always. And there is nothing that can stop me and Robert from continuing on this path. We will always be on Dagetans and Zvarunian's side and uh, by their side and sharing what they share. So hello to everybody on the Tigetan ship. Hello to all the Tigetans. Uh, don't get discouraged. This is just uh, one more phase. We have had many challenges and many obstacles and many, probably some, <laughs> hope not, more in the future. Uh, but just so you know, you have us here and we are strong and we'll continue to be so and we'll be here for you uh, for anything you need. And at the same time, we will understand um, your needs, whatever you decide. Um, also, thank you and greetings to all the followers, everybody who is always supporting us. Uh, hello to all the curious people who might be here just to watch what's happening and you know for all the drama on the scene and hello to all the trolls as well who might be watching and uh, just a message to them that we will continue no matter what this is this is nothing um so that's it thank you very much thank you for watching the video we'll continue with uh, with Yaski's metaphysical teachings uh, the second video that I was going to publish, which is really the core of my work here, those you know those videos. So the second part of the, of the of the there is no death, there is no matter series. And then I think I want to make a short life or long life. I don't know, summarizing some of the most important points from those two metaphysical Yaskis videos. So thank you again. The video is longer than I expected. But well, sometimes you just start to talk and you just have to explain things and and um, you get carried away explaining. But wait, thank you. I'm I'm out. Bye bye.